guys, it's Cena. I am here today to make hummus for you guys. I'm gonna do two cans um, of the garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Uh, these are the organic ones. I got these at Walmart for like 90 cents. I think they're 89 cents a can. I'm gonna show you how a uh, very quick way to peel your uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Um, I lay down a clean dish towel and a paper towel on top of that. And then I take about a quarter of a cup of the garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and then you cover them up with the paper towel and then again with the dish towel. And with your hands, just apply like a teeny bit of pressure, not much sure you'll smash them. And you just rub, you like a little tiny massage, like you're massaging a baby's back. And you just rub just for a few seconds, maybe ten, about 10 seconds. And then when you remove the paper towel, voila. Most of the skins will have just popped off. And you can just pick them up and put them in your, this is my little bowl of putting all the skins in. And uh, that is it. Some of them are being, if some of them are stubborn, looks like a lot of these came off for me, but usually they you will, most of them will come off. Um, but here's one that's kind of being stubborn. All you do is pinch it and the skin will come right off. But you don't want to have to do that for all of them. That would take forever. So this was the easiest trick that I have found to just uh, rub them between the paper towel and the dish towel and they come right off. And you're going to need uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. You need um, two tablespoons. I've already done all this, measured it out and everything. And you're gonna need a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt. Just a fourth of a cup. And garlic, as much garlic as you like. Um, for this, I use four cloves of garlic. I've already minced it up and um, put it in my blender. You need a blender too. I probably dumped some of this stuff in here. Um, your lemon juice uh, was two tablespoons. And then you need two teaspoons of coconut oil, okay? And then you will need to season it to taste. Uh, I use sea salt or I use the um, low sodium, uh, ah, I cannot get this in. It's the low sodium uh, Tony Saturus, the uh, Cajun style. And I put a chunk of, uh, you can see that in here, a chunk of jalapeno. Depending on how hot you like it, Monty loves hot, hot, hot food. He has eaten hot food since he was two. Long story, but that's because of my grandmother. They love hot, hot food. I like spicy, we all like spicy, but not insane like Monty, so I will add more for him. So, and then a scoop, I put in, I already put in here, a scoop of unflavored protein powder. I use the J-Rob, but whatever brand you may have. And I'm going to put all the measurements in the description box so you can add what you like and take away what you don't like. It's, it's that simple. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of the Tony Saturus, and I don't know why I always do this on video because this will make me sneeze, but I'm going to try to not inhale it. And then that is it. Um, I have a new wave. Uh, it's kind of like a ninja. I have a Nutribullet too, but this one is bigger, so this one is great for this. And I've done um, mashed potatoes, with, well, it wasn't mashed potatoes, it was with the uh, cauliflower. I'm gonna have to show that too, because that's a great one, I love that one. Uh, use cauliflower instead of potatoes. If you need more liquid, you can add a little more of the yogurt. Um, to me, I this, this does really well. Um, mixing but you do kind of have to open it and push it down give it a uh, give it a stir um, yeah let me tell you peeling those garbanzo beans they that makes it a lot smoother and creamier okay you'll need an air an airtight container this isn't gonna last too long because it's not that much um, in my children find out I made it oh, oh it's gone <laughs> So it comes out very creamy. Just put in an airtight container. 
and you can I like mine with carrots and cucumbers and red peppers oh goodness it's so good with the red peppers green peppers whatever you like it with but I'll let you see the consistency is very creamy it's very very smooth so like I said you can make it as spicy as you want you can make it as mild as you want you can add different things that you like so try it out you guys make it your own it's very low fat I'll put all the nutritional um, facts in the description box you guys talk to you later